What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Zerk G2 Grandmaster. In the last episode, I think we might have broken a record by beating our highest MMR player yet. In general, we are developing strategies that could really take us to top 100 Grandmaster. We are currently only about 200 MMR away. Let's begin the journey. Game number one is against a random player. All right. I feel like this is the second episode. Well, not in a row, but the second episode in a short time span where I play against a random player in game number one. Actually... It, wait, it might be the second Zerg Cheese episode in a row. I feel like it was the last time where I played against a random player and I got a Zerg, I believe. Now, it is going to make it a little more difficult to choose my strategy, of course. But you guys know me. I can always just go for a Link Drop because for some reason I'm close to mastering that build in every single matchup. As much as you can, right? Like, it's never going to be like a super high tier strategy against Zerg. Now, I do think we're at the point in a challenge. I, th I think I checked earlier. I believe this is episode number 23 already of this series. We're at the point in a challenge where it might end soon. Right now, honestly, I'm having an absolutely fantastic time with these Zerg cheeses, so I don't feel like I'm going to end it soon. But realistically, judging from the past, it will end somewhat soon at least. So it might be the time for us to really gather our best strategies and try to push for that top 100 Grandmaster. I think for me, it adds a little bit of an extra element as well, being able to get really high MMR with my off races as well, right? Terran being my main race, but maybe even, I, you know, I feel like I'm kind of catching up with the other races. Like my Terran is definitely not as good as it used to be at some point. Like my Terran MMR is not going to be that high. And maybe I can get to a point where my Zerg and Protoss are very comparable, which would be the absolute dream. I also thought if I ever switched or like... I don't think I would ever fully switch anymore because I'm not a pro guy anymore, right? I do content now. But let's say if Stormgate comes out or, or Zero Space or any of those new cool RTSs, whichever one sticks with me, I thought I would probably be a random player, kind of like doing all the races at once. That seems like a, a, you know, a really big amount of fun. I also want to do an episode where I play in a tournament in StarCraft and cheese with random. I think that'd be very fun. The biggest problem with that is that... Oh, it's a ZVZ again from random, by the way. The biggest problem with that is that I don't want to run into too many mirror mashups. Like, if I play random and I get three PvPs in a best of three, that's <laughs> I'm not going to have a good time. I don't really like mirror mashups as much, so that would be a little bit of a problem. Okay, well, that that's a base. Did he just take that as his first base? Okay, well, I mean, I guess I'm just going to make links and attack. He has this base too? Man, this guy's freaking crazy. What the hell? I, I guess he was hoping that I wouldn't see it, right? A else, I really don't know what this is about. I guess he was just hoping that I wouldn't see it. By the way, I was going to go for a link drop, but on this map, I think I might have to change my mind a little bit. And the reason I say that is because I don't feel like the link drop all, all the way over this wall is going to be either fast or efficient. So... Maybe I want to go for the Hydras instead. Like a big Hydra drop into the natural. It's a very campy map, right? So maybe that is the way I want to go forward here. Going to make a couple more links. I think one more set of links and then I'll go back to making overlords. Okay, so I mean, he's going to send links there. He's not going to save that though. He also, wait, I think he can't... Wait, maybe link drop is a really good idea because I, I don't think there's any way... Oh, he's, he's going to try to save it actually. I don't think there's any way he can have gas. These have speed by the way. So these links are just dead. Yeah, you know what, guys? I like creative strategies, but how do I put this the nice way? <laughs> I think this is going to be just a nice warm-up game. <laughs> Wait, he didn't have gas as well. Wait, he skipped? No, he had two queens. He had... Good, this build is very freaking interesting. Like, what? how did he even get all that? I didn't even know. Okay, so he made a hatchery first, then the spawning pool, then the gas. And then without making queens, he takes the third hatchery. And then... He makes one queen first, second queen after, followed by link speed, and then the evo chamber. Hmm. I mean, to be honest, this build looks very cool if he wouldn't, if he would have taken this as a hidden expansion. I think this one is a little bit too easy to scout, but if he went like full euthermal and took like this base instead, for example, this build is actually pretty cool. I, I feel like I could maybe even try this. Like, I know. This guy is probably not a Zerg player or he's just used to playing random and playing a little tricky because this is definitely normal for, or different from the standard, not normal from the standard. But this is a build I might try because this looks very cool. I feel like I would definitely die to like some 12 poolers, but we'll see. Fantastic warm-up game. Let's go to game number two. All right, game number two is going to be against a 5-7 Protoss player. He has pretty much the exact same MMR as the Protoss player we beat in the last episode. 
Now, this is going to be a barcode, so I don't quite know who it is. I don't have any possible intel on, on playstyle or whatever. But I think we're just going to stick to the plan. I mean, my main plan right now is to just make the link drop into Spire build a little better. I mean, we haven't done it that much, but every time we did it, it, it kind of slapped. Like, it was really freaking good, right? So there must be some ways that I can improve it even more. I, I also think... Maybe if we play against a non-Stargate, there might be, like, a lot more options to do. Like, I could also go for plus one Zerglings, is what I was thinking about. Because very often, they will shade across with something. Doesn't matter if it's two Adepts or four or eight, like, depending on their build order, right? But if I then have, like, a swell of Links with plus one and maybe then go into the Spire... The only problem is that I don't know if we would have enough Larva for that. Like, that, that sounds like the biggest, uh, you know, block I would run into. Now, I did really like the strategy of separating the overlords. Because for the most part, I've been sending the two overlords together. That's what I was planning to do in the last game as well. But doing one link drop into the main and one into the natural has, has been pretty cool. Like, it really helps me with the outplays, creating chaos for the most part. Oh, wait. Am I lucky? No, I think I'm not lucky. No. Oh, he's, I, he saw my drone. Like, he barely saw the drone on the edge, and that's why he came back, I think. Else he wouldn't have come back in time. That's a little unfortunate, but it's okay. We'll be able to deal with it. This is another one of those situations where I think maybe it would be good to go for, like, the plus one melee into Zerglings, because this base is way more vulnerable than if I would have it in my natural, right? So it only makes sense for my opponent to be more aggressive reactively to this. Especially after holding my attack, assuming he does hold it. I mean, I don't believe I've killed any Protoss player that's like really high MMR with the link drop like instantly. I think that's uh, that's an achievement I haven't quite unlocked yet. So I guess we'll see. Dude, I, I thought I saw a pylon. I, I was just tripping. What the hell? I thought I saw a pylon building next to this hatchery. Okay, well, maybe maybe I didn't get enough sleep tonight because <laughs> that's, that's not good. Okay, let's see. Double gateway. Okay, wait. Ooh, he's playing extra safe. Hmm. Yo, on one hand, I also need to make extra Zer... Oh, nice, we found it. Yes, that's perfect. He's going to check here, and I'm going to be able to kill it. Maybe I can even block it a little bit. I'm going to be able to kill it before I morph the lair, which is super nice. There we go. Now, I do have to make extra Zer... No, actually, I, I think... No, this is perfect, I believe, right? Yeah, because I'm going to make one queen. Now I can start making Zerg. The first two adepts are going to be really scary. That's probably the scariest moment of, like, the whole first four or five minutes, I believe. Okay, so that's adept number one. Uh, make sure I don't lose all of these drones. That'd be quite nice. You could keep it there, actually. Let me just inject real quick. I wanted to start attacking it right away, but I guess I'll just attack it from the high ground, because why not? And here we go. Maybe, like, scare him out of there. Yeah, exactly. Get, get out of your cave, my friend. <laughs> okay, I don't have link speed yet, so I can't kill that. Oh, he's not paying attention. That's gonna... Be oh, there's a perfect time to depth catch here. There we go. And now he's gonna lose both. Oh, this is perfect. Wait, he... Well, barely not, I believe. No, he does lose it. Oh my god, that is massive. Okay, is this in position? That is in position. This one needs to get back over here. Okay, I'm gonna send... Uh, well, I'll just do the exact same split as I did before, right? Send two to the front, and then one to each side. Make this a, drop, a dropper lord, that a dropper lord. And now I could go for the plus one. Let's see if I can scout what tech it is. It do I doesn't see... Or he doesn't show anything so far. As usual, I am gonna drop the one in the main first. Uh, because it's just the perfect distraction. But he actually might not even see this. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to do it. Here we go. I'm going to drop it like right there on the edge. If he sees it, then that is going to be a good distraction. Here we go. Okay, so it is a Stargate. It's nice to see. And uh, then I guess I will go for the Spire instantly. And now I have my links over here. Oh, this is such a massive play. Look at those links. He's not paying attention to the links. He never expected the double drop. The strategy works again. Actually, those is not enough. So I need to run away from these. Going to save these as well. And man, this was a really good start for us. I think I'm going to make uh, spores already just in case. Oh, I didn't click them in the Overlord properly. That is a little unfortunate for us. Maybe I can... If he thinks he's killed all of them, I could redrop those as well. Um, did I make the spire? I did make the spire. Okay, let's get a couple extra gases here. Gonna get those two in and try to drop into the main base. I need to make sure that I don't just throw away these for free, right? And now the plan is to go corruptors, but I don't quite know for sure yet what it's gonna be, right? Is he, is it, did he just keep the adept here? 
I'm gonna be able to surround the Adept and kill it. Look at this. This is massive. There we go. That Adept is gonna fall. He's killing a bunch of drones, but he's also... He's gonna lose the Oracle because he's not paying attention anymore. Because of the link jump in his natural the same... Oh my god, this is going so perfectly for us. We are actually... Uh, just absolutely destroying him right now, to be honest, with this play. All I did it was two link drops. Now, he might chase this with his... start. Was it a Void Ray? I guess it was a Void Ray building. Or maybe another Oracle. I'm not sure. Okay, let me just try to snipe some probes. There we go. I get one probe and we go out again. God, this is so freaking brutal right now. Now, do I... Wait, where's my other... Why are you there? No, you silly goose. Get back to work. Now, I, I'm not sure if I want to make corruptors here or go for the mutas. I think five corruptors. I could probably just kill a nexus with that. That's that's why I would really like it. Five corruptors. I'm just going to go ahead and kill a nexus. I'll make two more just in case. These, these are basically just glorified scouts at this point. I mean, I still have, you know, some uh, some units in this. But how effective it's going to be, I'm not quite sure. So I made enough links. I'm going to make one more drone to afford a third hatchery. Let's see if I can annoy him a little more. Okay, we're going to be able to kill another one of these. Dude, how effective has this been, guys? Like, this is not this is not okay. Okay, wait, you're making oracles. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure that, that, that used to... Did he just make three oracles? Guys, he might not have any anti-air whatsoever. Like, I'm not kidding. He might have zero anti-air. Okay, this, this, this might just be absolutely brutal. Okay, I'm gonna drop these. Let me make sure to wait for a couple. Okay, so there are the oracles. Guys, I, I, I don't think he can, he can save this. Like, I've been here before. Even the battery overcharge doesn't do enough to stop five corruptors. He doesn't have enough anti-air here. He's probably going to try to activate the battery overcharge. Wait, he just canceled that one. Look look at the damage these corruptors do against the Nexus. GG has to be called. And Ling drop into Corruptor. Absolutely annihilated a top 50 each Grandmaster once again. Only 500 resources lost against 1575. And this game, he just had absolutely nothing to say. He was going to be a one base Protoss. And I really like my follow up to here, too, guys. This follow up is the first thing that I felt like was actually going to keep me safe. I was just spamming links, 45 drones. I had one drone, I was going to make this hatchery with it as soon as I, you know, got, got my attention back, got my focus back. And then my plus one links would have killed anything on the ground, even Glaive Adepts, as soon as I had enough links, could spend the rest of the money probably not an investor so my first thing is going to say i'll have extra gas so i should make investors but after some tragic games with neural parasite i think i might not do that again but you know something else maybe some more mutas or whatever he was making an extra stargate but obviously the corruptors were going to be way too good for that and this was disgusting like this game made me believe we can even beat like a top top grandmaster protoss for now fantastic game number two let's keep it going all right, game number three is against a Terra player. All right, one of each race so far. Always really love when that happens in a video. Now, what am I going to do against Terra in here? I have to say, this map, I really have not enjoyed playing this map against Terra. Uh, and it feels like for most of the time on this map, they just turtle super hard and they have no intention whatsoever to move out and interact with me, right? <laughs> I don't know. It kind of makes the game slow down a little bit. So what I'm thinking is I want to do a strategy that can break that kind of plan down. And my first idea was to go for Swarm Host. Um, I'm going to go for the 1717 opener anyway, but this time I don't really have to plan to go into a Ling Drop unless I see something of which I feel like it would be bad against a Ling Drop, right? Like actively bad, so maybe... Let's say he goes for a fast... Let's say he walls this off, right? And goes for a fast third command center. It's a map where you have the back base. Then, then it's probably a pretty good idea to go for the link drop. Unless I see something like that, I'll probably skip it. Unless, I mean, you guys know me. Sometimes I just have like, guys, <laughs> I really want to do this. So maybe if I want those, one of those moments, I would consider it. Probably should split my overlords. Uh, should I split them? Uh, well, let's see. The, oh, this is a pretty decent overlord spot, I guess. I would also like to have one on the left side so I can kind of see... If my opponent's moving out with Hellions. Yeah, maybe, maybe that's even a better spot to keep an Overlord in. The only problem is that it would get sniped easier. And I'm already playing a relatively low economy build by not going for the hatchery first, right? So, losing two Overlords, it already sounds a little problematic to me. And I think for that reason, it's smarter if I go over here. Yo, did, did I forget to set my Overlord? Is this map actually freaking massive? Like, isn't it crazy that my Overlord's only halfway across the map now? It's one minute 40. Like, this map is actually gigantic, I think. I mean, it's it's possible that I made a mistake, of course. But even then, <laughs> this map is freaking insane. Like, oh my goodness. All right, we're going to get link speed. I, I do like this opener anyway against Terran just because everyone likes building Cyclones. 
early on for whatever reason because they have like figure out a good cheese or because they're just having a fun with the new unit which we own or well the, the the change unit which we only get every you know couple of years these days <laughs> both of those make sense but anyway having early links is quite nice against that he's you see th this is already very suspicious did he pay attention did he not see that like the positioning of those marines what they tell me is that he's gonna fly his barracks to attack it right so either he's doing something cheeky or he just likes sniping overlord it's really not that crazy by the way like it's very possible that um he just likes killing the overlord because it's really annoying i mean i also don't like getting spied on by a freaking overlord the entire game right so uh doesn't have to be something suspicious but i still think yeah i'm just gonna make an extra overlord already and then just send this one into the main base i do have a good amount of links on the way i, I could go for the attack but hmm. Like, if the Hellions finish, it's just going to be a big waste. That's what I'm thinking about. Like, if he gets a couple of Hellions finishing, or may maybe even two Cyclones from a Reactor, I don't think... What, what am I going to have? Like, 14 links or something? I don't think that's quite going to be enough. I would really like to go in and attack, though. But maybe I can just bait him with the Overlords. It's also not the, not the craziest idea ever. Start making a lot more drones. That's going to be six more links arriving. That's going to be exactly what I need. Okay, I'm going to make this gas as well. And I want to go into Swarmost here. Let's see, I imagine... Wait, did he just... I think he might have just made a ton of marines. Did he really just... Okay, well, this is going to be an interesting one. This is this is either barely going to be enough or not. I, I feel like I've made a small mistake here. Is it... I think... Well, actually... Wait, somehow... Oh, my, how did this work out? No, that is not allowed. I really was sure I made a mistake there, but instead it ended up being perfect for me. Did he make the base here? He didn't make the base here, but it... He has something. Right? Like, there, there, there's not enough here. Where, where's the where's the command center? Is there a hidden... Guys, are, 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 my, are my senses tingling too fast, or is there a hidden base on this map? He... he I don't know. It, it feels like he doesn't, it doesn't feel quite right to me. Something is off here. I don't think he has enough. I, I'm, I'm going to check the map. Maybe, I wonder if everyone is just taking gold bases now. If that's just like a thing to do. Okay. He's making one more command center. I did scout his base uh, very thoroughly with uh, with my units. Let's see. Okay. I'm just going to scout the entire map. I, Even if it's not like for sure, it just it, do, it doesn't feel quite right to me, guys. I feel like there's something else. Either this is the best build of all time or there's something else on the map. I mean, I wouldn't mind if it was either, to be honest. I guess that would be a pretty nice compliment that I'm doing the best. I knew it. There we go. Okay, I'm not crazy. Whew. I wonder how many of you thought I was crazy. Be honest, guys. How many of you thought I was crazy? <laughs> there we go. We found it. And now... Wait, do I have... Okay, I have one... Oh, I actually have two overlords here. I'm going to make two overseers. Just so I can scout... Uh, or not not scout, I want vision for my Swarmos. That's what I want. I want vision for my Swarmos. I, I think with the amount of units that I killed already, I want to say there's no way he's going to have enough units to stop my Swarmos now, to be honest. Like, if he's able to stop this Swarmos, I, I would actually be a little surprised. And we're going to take this base now on the outside. Don't want to do be completely all in, of course. And he has enough units for those Zerglings, so I don't necessarily want to commit with those. Like, on this map, like, look, look at this position that you have on this map, guys. L l like, look at this. His his natural is right there. Look at where I can put the freaking Nidus, right? Like, it's crazy. And maybe I can just keep this in front of his base for a while. I do need to make a couple more overlords. I don't want these links inside of that Nidus. That would be a little bit of a waste. And guys, I can even... Oh my god, I can even put it in the back. Okay, this is freaking brutal. I can put Nidus just everywhere. <laughs> I'm not even going to pop out all of them. Here, I'm going to make sure to keep a couple alive. There we go. And then I wonder if he realizes that that is not uh, the Nidus that he heard. Oh my god, he's going to lose so much of this the entire game, I think. Like, how, how is he going to stop it? I don't even know. How is he planning to stop this? I think the only thing I need to make sure that I do uh, is get a Spire. In case it's like going for uh, battle cruises or something. I'm, I'm already going to make some Spores. And then I'll make a Spire. Keep in mind, my build is also not super economical, right? So I do need to be smart in that way. I'm also going to make a couple more uh, queens. I wasn't really planning on making them, but I guess it is just a smart idea to make more. Okay, Spire is going to be on the way. I do think he's running around. Yeah, he is running around to try and kill those. I wonder if I can just use a couple of these locusts uh, to kind of deter these uh, thingies. 
Let's see. There we go. Or we're going to be able to kill a couple, I think. Dude, this is so annoying. He's got almost three. I think... Oh, my God. He actually lost three. And, guys, guess what? The changeling was not killed in his main base. Oh, man. This is this is looking brutal. This is looking freaking brutal. It's still alive, too. He's, he's not even mining from this at this point. Okay, he does see this one. But that means that this one hasn't been killed. So I can drop a couple more of these. Now, should I make mutas or corruptors? I'm not sure. My first instinct was to go for corruptors. But maybe it's even a good idea to just go for mutas instead. He's going to lose this cyclone as well, I believe. Look at that. I only need one uh, swarmos to attack that. Oh, my God. He is getting absolutely brutalized. That is the... No. Oh, barely. Wait, it's still... Guys, can I put a nidus down here? Yeah, he might not actually see that. Oh, he does have a Banshee. Ah, that sucks for us. Guess I'll have to run away with these. I don't think it's a good idea for me to go for Mutalis now, to be honest, because he just... Oh, I just made a million... I didn't even realize that I made that many drones, to be honest, but I did make a million drones at once, which means that I can now uh, actually afford to make mass Mutas. Swarmos rush into mass Mutas. Is, is this a build or is this a build, guys? What can I say? Is, is this a mark build or a mark build? I know that it's freaking brutal for our opponent. That's that's most of what I know, that's for sure. I can also get Burrow just because I love making plays. But just with this early little bit of a Link Flood into super fast Swarmos, I feel like we've owned him so hard. He does have a million orbitals, so I do want to keep the pressure on. But I just can't imagine that he has that much supply. Now, he does have the right units to deal with... I want to say not all of the mutas, but with the initial wave of mutas, right? Because if I fly in with 20 mutas, the cyclones will just die. If I fly in with 7 mutas against 7 cyclones, then I'm not quite as sure if that's going to pay off for me. So I'm just going to make another big wave of zerklings. Let's make sure I... Uh, wait, I have an extra queen. Oh, yeah, I built that for the battle crew. I didn't even remember that I built that, actually. So I have 66 workers. Probably just saturate this entire base. You know what? I'm even going to make a double Evo here because I I would love to make that play again where I burrow all my Zerglings and just, like, catch all of his Cyclones. That would be such a cool play. I also have enough gas to just keep spamming Mutas like crazy. Let's see. Here we go. He's going to lose a bunch of workers to this. Probably never expected me to play like that. I can actually use these Mutas to um, create another Nidus. Here we go. That's going to die. Dude, this is actually such a good link up. I can throw the mutas. Oh, wait. He doesn't have enough cyclones here, guys. Exactly. This is more than enough mutas to kill these cyclones. This is what I'm talking about. Let's go. Those cyclones are all going to die. We do need to be careful for the next wave. But, guys, I have the link up with the mutas and the swarmos. So, now I can just throw a bunch of locusts over there. I can throw the rest of the locusts into the natural because this map is just freaking crazy like that. There we go. Look at this. Oh, my goodness, guys. In every single base, he's getting attacked. Let me make sure to get the melee upgrades. Here we go. I'm going to be able to kill a couple cyclones as well it seems like i mean if he keeps losing units for free oh that's only three cyclones that's more than enough mutas there we go he was trying to kind of well yeah trap me i wouldn't say trap me he was just trying to catch me off guard so he would be able to kill the knight as well this is where the mutas and the swarm out link up so well this looks like it's like my best sir game ever to be honest because he's just getting absolutely carnished right now uh, by the team plays between my units there's also probably enough mutas to kill all of those cyclones yeah, mutas are actually i have to give them more credit they are better against cyclones than i thought they were i thought they were going to be decent they end up just being absolutely monstrous against cyclones because they just they have too little HP. Like, they can't get away. Okay, so this is going to deny this base. These are, this, I'm just denying two bases at the same time by playing Nidus on this map. Uh, Nidus Swarmos, that is. Look at this. He can't mine at all. I really think this might be the most... Fr Wait, guys. Is it time? He might not see. No, he, he must have seen. Oh, no. Imagine. Wait, oh, okay. He, yeah, he did realize that. <laughs> Imagine. That would be so funny. Oh, I did actually mean to burrow this. It kind of looks like I was BMing him there a little bit. I promise you, I'm just really bad at using the hotkeys with Zerg sometimes. But, oh, my God. I had an absolute blast this game. I do think it's time for me to uh, get him out of his suffering, though. I feel like he has suffered enough this game. I'm going to split the Swarmos once again. Yo, this strategy, come on, guys. How is this not the most brutal thing ever on this map? Like, what are you supposed to do against Swarmos here? Oh, my God. Every time he has to run away. Look how many workers he's losing. Oh, this is too many links. He's going to lose all of those Cyclones, I'm afraid. Uh, afraid for him, at least, I should say. Like, the Cyclones are good at kiting, but it's just a couple too many Zerglings. The Mutas are going to clean the house in combination with the Zerglings. And this was the best Zerg game of all time. Well, I wouldn't say the best. It was just 
it was just beautiful. I feel like if you're a Zerg enjoyer, if you like playing a little cheeky, this might be one of your favorite games ever because this was just pure domination from the start. It was all cheesy, starting with the 1717 Link Flood. Got the read on the hidden expansion as well, which is a big deal. Swarm was on his map looking absolutely broken, catching him off guard with the Mutas. The only thing I couldn't really get to use was the Burrow play. That would have made this even better, but this episode was just awesome. I loved everything. We are getting so good at these Zerg cheeses, and I, I've said it a lot, but I'm so happy that my Zerg and Protoss are improving. And I think this is going to be the best game that I'll play today. So I'm going to leave it at this for this episode. Hope you guys had a fantastic time, just like me. If you did, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see y'all for the next one. Adios.